Deb, I'm going to go show them what I've been working on over here, and I'll be right back, all right? Sounds like a plan. All right. You really look ravishing today, by the way. Yeah, that and 10 cents will get you 10 cents. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. Anyway. Can you tell I'm feeling better, guys? Yeah, I am. Finally, I'm starting to feel more like normal. Still get just a little bit winded, but nothing like it has been. Anyway, been working on uh, the battery bank system. Uh, let me turn this around like this so you can see that. But uh, the third battery came in and uh, we'd had it in the carry it in the van for about a week or so. Or, and I just didn't have enough energy to, to put it together. But uh, finally, yesterday, I got enough energy to go ahead and put it together. So uh, <clears throat> we got all three batteries mounted in there. Uh, I've got some uh, half inch foam board insulation in between them to, to cushion them, you know, and uh, so they're nice and packed in, nice and tight. Now, right now, what I'm doing, uh, the other two batteries, the one on either side, uh, are fully charged because they went in first, of course, and the third battery is the one in the middle. So right now, what I'm needing to do is uh, get it charged up to where it gets within one-tenth of one volt uh, as the other two and then once that's all done then I'll rewire them all together in parallel and I'll be showing you how we do that at a later date uh, probably here in the next uh, few days now I've got it on just simply the the, the MPPT uh, charge controller here and uh, it's that time of the year where we're not getting that much sun so uh, when I'm parked up here where the trees are blocking the sun as you can see you know over here um, the uh, whoops the uh, I'm only getting about one and a half amps being uh, pumped into the battery so it will take a while now a while ago what I did I started up the van and I drove down next to the water where uh, they park uh, trucks and trailers and I was getting really really good sun there but I can't leave the van there of course uh, but I was bringing in uh, over 18 amps, pumping in 18 amps into the battery. And according to the, uh, according to the app on the battery itself, it said at that rate, uh, it'd be fully charged within nine hours. Well, I can't leave it down there for nine hours. Plus we got other things we got to do today. But anyway, that's where we are right now. Uh, it's one of those hurry up and wait kind of things. But when we get back on it, I'll show you the whole thing. And then when we get ready to wire in the, the power panel and the 30 amp outlet on the outside of the van, so we'll be able to plug the van into the trailer to run the trailer, I'll show you all that and show you how we're going to be doing all that. But that's where we are to this point. One quick little thing I do want to mention, and uh, the charge controller right here, yeah, that's an MPPT uh, 30 amp charge controller. Uh, I had one uh, person here a while back mention that uh, I probably need to try to get it away from the, the wood because the, the, the cooling fins on the bottom do tend to uh, get a little warm, although I haven't really noticed it that much right now. But uh, what I intend to do, I am going to elevate that a little bit. I'm going to shim it up a little bit where it sets a little further off of the platform there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a hole out directly underneath it. A large hole so that air can flow up underneath the the, uh, the console board that it's setting on here so there'll be better airflow around it and that should help a whole bunch technically speaking uh, I'm supposed to be mounting it you know vertical like that instead of the way I am but uh, I just didn't have room to do that so that's what I'm gonna do to try to compensate for that just so you'll know so that's uh, that's on the list of things to do one other thing I'll mention right quick about this battery bank is these are 200 amp hour batteries, three of them uh, wired in parallel as a 12 volt system will be a 600 amp hour system when we get everything wired up in parallel correctly. And um, just to reassure, reassure everybody, uh, these are, they have a self heating feature. So I don't have to be overly concerned about uh, you know getting cold because they do have their own self-heating feature built into them however what we will be doing just to be on the safe side 
we will be monitoring uh, nighttime temps, but you know, here in the next uh, month and a half to two months, we'll be down in Florida. Although still the part of Florida we go to still, uh, you know, uh, gets a little cool at night sometimes, but we will be monitoring the predictions for nighttime temperatures. And just to be on the safe side, we may kill the breakers to the panels just so uh, they wouldn't accidentally be pumping uh, power into them early the next morning when the sun starts to come up just to be on the safe side so we will stay on top of that kind of stuff all right so much for that now let's go on back over here and uh, see what Deb's been doing this is just kind of a little quickie thing to let you know that you know we're okay uh, everything is copacetic uh, Deb is starting to make me do chores around the house now. It's time. I had to fix my own lunch today. Oh, boo you believe that? I had to put it in the microwave. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> had to, I, I, it was so hard to grab those two hot dog wieners out of the package and put it on the plate literally had to put it on the plate and slide it in the microwave and push the button twice to give me a full minute then i ended up doing another 30 seconds so did them for a for a minute and a half oh my goodness delilah's starting to get brave again yeah well those people course, left people left so <laughs> we'll, we'll kind of let her be brave here for a little bit anyway uh we're still here at this uh beautiful part of uh, beaver lake but we will be pulling out friday today is wednesday and we're pulling out Friday and we're going to head down to um, uh, a campground on the Arkansas River for a couple of weeks just so we can follow the rules and not be too long in the same spot. Right. You know, there are little basic rules we have to follow when you're camping with the Corps. And it's not a burden. You know, we're just going to make it work. But uh, we'll be, what, about an hour and a half from here. Yes, we're for, close enough. If I have to come back, I can right, right. jump in the van and get exactly. back up here. <laughs> we could be back up here uh, pretty quick. So, uh, and once we get there, uh, we'll show you the campground. We've been there before, but we'll show you the campground and uh, talk about uh, the sights to see around that area and stuff like that. And it happens to be close to the winery that makes our favorite wine. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. Yes. Uh, I guess that's about it. And I will be wiring up the battery bank too, and we'll go through that while we're down there too as well. So, anything else, babe, you got to say? Nope. Nope. Before we go? Nope. That's it. I hope my stomach looks flatter. <laughs> well, I was trying to maintain this new figure hmm. that I ended up with from being so sick. We'll see how so, that goes since your appetite's coming back. My appetite is coming back, <laughs> but I'm trying to be a little more aware of what I'm eating and I know some of you out there are going to tell me that uh, hot dog wieners are probably one of the worst things I could be eating probably you know but uh, hey it was something quick and I'd not on a hot dog bun just the wieners themselves a couple of them and well I did use bullseye barbecue sauce <laughs> on them but <laughs> anyway y'all take care this is Bill and Deb with iRide Tiny House Adventures. Oh, by the way, i uh, got another walkthrough video that we'll have up by the weekend. So we'll be watching for that. Anyway, uh, y'all know what we're going to say. Don't they know what we're going to say? Yes. I hope so. We're not camping. We are living. Y'all get out there and do some living. And we will see you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.